CataractCoach.com. We've got cataract surgery in patients with lattice corneal dystrophy. Guest surgeon, Dr. Carlos Yuji Nonumura from Brazil. So here's the case. You can see the incision's already been made. It's time to make the capsular axis. Now there is that central opacity you see there on the cornea. And being lattice dystrophy, this has affected both of the patient's eyes. In this eye, the opacity is thought to be relatively modest in the cornea. And so just doing the cataract surgery alone is likely to give a substantial improvement in the patient's vision. Now what's different in this case? Well, a couple things. First, your view is impaired. That's the obvious part. So you've got to be careful to really see what you're doing and get a nice view. Here, the surgeon's enhancing the red reflex in order to get this capsorexis done. And you can see he has a beautiful capsorexis completed. Now it's time for nucleus removal. A nice technique here is to get that nucleus out of the capsular bag. So first he's releasing some viscoelastic. Here's the hydro dissection. You see the fluid waves go around. There's a good wave right here. And getting the nucleus out of the capsular bag gives you a little bit more margin of safety. So you're away from the posterior capsule. And so even though the view is somewhat limited by that corneal opacity, you're still able to see quite nicely. Another thing is, you see the opacity is a little bit off-center. So you can do most of your operating away from the opacity. So you can go be, be distal to it. So nucleus has been removed. It's cut to the end of the case here. That went great. Cleaning up with the cortex removal, the IA probe. That looks great. You can see the round rexus. There's the opacity in that central cornea. And you can see why it doesn't affect the patient's vision so much, because it is off to the side of the central visual axis. And so in this case, doing just the cataract surgery alone is a very reasonable approach. Doing a corneal surgery can certainly be an option in the future, but I think the patient will be likely pretty happy with just the, corn the cataract surgery alone. Obviously, the corneal surgery is a lot more invasive and more involved, tends to be more expensive with a longer recovery, and less certain visual outcome, oftentimes. Here's the eye wall delivery. How do you change the lens calcs in these eyes? I tell you to make sure you choose the lowest K value in that central corneal zone. So even if you have irregular measurements, choosing a lower K value will ensure that your calculation will end up with a higher eye wall power. And if anything, you'll err on the side of post-op myopia. I think that's the best bet here. So there's our lens, it'll be dotted in the capsular bag, and now you can see the capsular axis will overlap it just beautifully. It's a beautiful case. I want to thank Dr. Carlos for the kind submission, and I want to encourage you guys, submit your video. You can have your name on it for a beautiful case like this. You can have an anonymous if you have a complication. You don't want to have your name out there. Go to cataractcoach.com, click on the link for submit your video, and I look forward to learning from you. Thank you.